on the show. Well, we do have to get down to the close of what's been a really quiet session. Uh, not much moving on the index. Uh, the bulls will uh, like the fact that at least the ground did not sort of give way and that intraday dip that we had a very sharp one at around noon, that kind of got bought into at least uh, in parts. So let's uh, look at the Nifty. We're still ending with a cut of about 32, 33 odd points. So let's track the weakness first. Uh, financials are still looking fragile. That's a very clear takeaway from today's trading action on the Nifty and even beyond. On the Nifty, you've got, of course, uh, Bajaj Finance, SBI Life, some of the banking names like Axis Bank to look out for. These were some of the uh, the weak sort of parts of the index. ICICI Bank also ending flat. So banks could not retain their gains. That's uh, point number one. Uh, point number two, you didn't have too much of support from the heavyweights, the big boys. Lever, ITC are ending down about a percent thereabouts. Uh, rough day for l &T, half a percent down there. Reliance couldn't add to the tally. It's ending absolutely flat. Uh, so overall consumers, by the way, you know, weren't a very uh, good looking space today. A lot of profit taking on an Asian Pains, for instance, after the big move that we saw on Friday. What held up the other end of the market was really IT. That's the uh, one loan sector that stands out. Wipro, HCL Tech, Tech Mendra, all these names managed a little bit of green. And uh, let's not forget the two nifty winners, Diviz and Nabharti Airtel. Guys, I mean, these were the, the ones that were doing some of the batting, but it reminds me of uh, Sunday. I, we don't want to go there. Just, you know. <laughs> no, no, it's done. <laughs> Unfortunately, not enough, uh, uh, not for the Nifty. Let's talk about a couple of winners then for the broader <laughs> market. So we don't remind us about uh, Sunday. We sure, look forward sure. to the next four years. Uh, Talbros, won a big order, stock up 20%. Uh, Pratap Snacks, but in the next few hours, we'll get to know who are the parties to that large trade. But that stock as well got locked up by closer 20%, 5% equity changing hands out there. Goldium, you know, after a while, the stock has uh, spiked up. One of those plays uh, on the diamond space, uh, you know, so that stock as well up closer around 15% lab grown diamonds. We had SML Izuzu that saw a big correction actually from the recent peak, but that stock as well spiked up. Skipper, I don't know what the street is reading out there, but that stock, you know, in the last four, five months is actually nearly uh, up closer on 60, 70%. So that one was up closer on 12% as well. And Kolte Patel as well, all the attention was on Obroi Realty as well as DLF. <coughs> Kolte Patel was up more than 10% in today's trading session. So, some of those big gainers from the broader markets. Well, ITI also got your attention. 7.5% higher on that. Uh, NetWeb was up close to about 1.2%. Potential beneficiaries of uh, the IT hardware PLI scheme. So, ITI particularly, which is looking to manufacture its own uh, laptops, made in India laptops, was up close to about 7, 7.5%. 7 Keynes Technology also is qualified for the uh, hardware PLI scheme, uh, but the stock sunk 3.5% down, plus there was that fundraise announcement coming through on Keynes uh, Technology. Uh, other notable gainers include a Nuogen Software, 5% up, uh, bonus um, issue announcement to be considered next week, Zentech on the back of order wins, Metropolis was up nearly 1.7%, SBI Cards, uh, got hit hard on Friday, it was down close to about 5%, but today it's managed a bit of a recovery. And BSC, Bombay Stock Exchange, that's the one which lost 5.6% on that. And on pretty large volumes, it's had a one-way run-up year-to-date. BSC has been up 300%, but today it gave up some profits. By the end of it, the Nifty is going to close below that 19,700. The mid-cap index has a fractional gain. With that, it's a wrap and closing bell from the entire team. Thank you for watching.